guys, I'm Ruth Kinane. I'm here with Entertainment Weekly and the cast of The Expense um, at New York Comic Con. Thank you guys so much for coming <laughs> by. Thanks for having us. Um, so last season ended with the rings opening, there's a gold rush going on, a whole bunch of chaos happening. Um, where do we pick up with season four? Chaos and Bedlam. <laughs> I mean, it goes without saying, right? Uh, so in season four, um, yeah, as you said, the ring gates have opened, and that's kind of reshaped the whole socio-political map in the macro sense and also intimately within the characters themselves. Right. So, um, you know, now that all these systems have opened up, what that means for Mars and their terraforming project for Earth and their unemployment problem and for the belters who can't take advantage of all of this uh, new opportunity or perhaps danger, um, completely shifts around the chessboard uh, for this um, season. So there is a actual tonal shift uh, with, with what happens in terms of what we're doing story-wise. Um, and we, we go into like a space western. Oh, wow. So it kind of switches up the tone of what we've known for the past three seasons, which is fun. That's cool. Well, we should talk about the cancellation and then you, the fans really oh. rally to save you guys, yes. which is great. How gratifying is that just to know that they're so invested and then also, how does that kind of change, how does the, has the show changed anything by Amazon picking it up? Well, I think what's interesting is you don't always get feedback, like a feedback loop right. like that. No when worries. you're on t in TV and film, you're like, hope everyone likes it. <laughs> um, and so it's kind of nice to know that the fans were out there fighting for something that they really believed in and loved. Um, so that was cool. And I think I've never rooted harder for anything that I've been a part of than I has for this. This has been one of the most favorite things that I've ever been a part of. And the fact that what's happening with the show right now and the the excitement around it and you know I'm going in, we're going into season five and I have more butterflies and more excitement going into this Dave than I did with babe. the first season yeah and so you know it's just <laughs> rare to have you know to be a part right. of something like that where the character and the story is endlessly fascinating and yeah. creatively satisfying does it feel like a new chapter now like starting afresh almost with the with Amazon and also just like the where the story was and yeah in a way forward? I mean I um I was a fan of the book before we started shooting uh, the series, and in in book four, which we touch on this year, there is there is a shift. So you know we're kind of following the books, um, and it, it makes sense almost in a kind of metaphysical way totally. that that we've moved into um, into this new place for our show and have a platform that has this incredible reach and so much support behind it. Um, it really feels like we found our home. So exciting. But at the same time, we get to like shoot with the same crew that we've right. done like the past four years with, and we go back to Toronto, and we're so all familiar. the same. Yeah. So it's like we get to be back with our family as well. Why do you think the show resonates so much with fans? Like, obviously, it's that way in the future, but there does seem like a lot of themes that are very applicable today. What are some of those, or why do you think people really like relate to it? I think you know. I think there is something to be said for. Um, political allegory in today's world. Obviously, there's a lot of things going on that we touch on in the show. But on a, on a more personal level, there aren't any good or bad guys on this show. Mm -hmm. Everybody feels like they're doing the right thing all the time. And everybody exists within shades of gray. And I, I as a viewer and as a fan myself, have always found those characters to be um, someone, people I could empathize with more, because that's right. the way human beings actually are. So um, I think we do a good job of, of making sure everybody is flawed and has their own journeys um, within the story itself. There's also um, a level of rep representation on the show that yeah. I think is um, not necessarily across the board in mm -hmm. other TV shows, and but it, also the storylines are not reliant on that. Um, everyone just is who they are right. and are flawed and great. It's not and, labored, like, yeah. The point of so it. I think people love it for that reason, is they get yeah. to see everyone as it is in like in real, real life, yeah. Real life, but in space. Yeah. Um, you were also greenlit for season five before four is even aired, yeah. which congratulations. Thank you very um, much. Did that change the pacing at all this season? Or are they kind of, did they go together or are they both like quite separate? Uh, no, it, it doesn't change the pacing of how we're how we're shooting it. I think you know, f I think for us it was just a, such a lovely vote of confidence in terms of what we did with season four. Um, you know, I know we're all really proud of of this season, and um, we came into season four obviously being renewed by our fans, which was so moving. Um, but we went in with this sense of gratitude, you know, that yeah. we had this second life. And um, this was a show that is from the crew to the writers to the cast. We're also passionate and have a sense of ownership of this show. And um, we really wanted to be able to deliver on, um, on the show that the fans saved for us. Right. Like, 
Thank you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Cass, Alex is always like the pilot, but also very good with making lasagnas. Yeah. Yeah. Is that something yeah. that translates to real life? You get in the kitchen? Yeah. I, I think Alex, um, whatever, whatever demons he struggles with, he likes to use food to kind of uh, oh, yeah. to get through it. And, and he's kind of a family guy. He, he, he's got a new family. And uh, where I come from, me personally, um, we use food in order to deal with issues. Uh, we get everyone sitting around the table, and that's where we talk things oh, out. Yeah. And that's kind of how I've grown up with food, is to use it to kind of resolve uh, conflict. That's the, the great idea, honestly. <laughs> um, you guys do seem like a family on the show, for sure. Is that Does that translate off screen, too? Is there any fun things well, you do? The, the, the relationship that we have on screen is very similar to the relationship that we had off screen. You know, we, five years ago, we, we show up, and we, we're doing this show that we don't know each other. We're mm. a bunch of strangers that get thrown in this, this, uh, this, this amazing show, and we're working together. And as we get to know each other, we also are getting to know each other through the show. So um, we just saw uh, the pilot episode of uh, season four, and seeing the kind of relationship and the chemistry and the dynamic that we have now that we've earned right. by just working together every day, um, it's, it's really nice to see. It's a great thing. I mean, <clears throat> we're pretty much family now. You know, I mean, I've, I've had two babies on the show, you know, and <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. No, it's, we're not uh, actually. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Next. Oh, um, next question. I got uh, a question, big question for you guys. Yeah. One of my favorite things on the show is the, um, the name of the ships. Um, if you guys could name a ship each, what would it be and why? Well, we, we just had this question on oh our no. panel, like, like what would we, <laughs> and I said the Tipper truck, because Tipper is my surname, and right. therefore, my ship should be named after me. <laughs> yeah, it's really kind of hard to beat that one, the, tip, the Tipper truck. <laughs> Stephen like, likes that name, I, so he's going to join my crew. Um, yeah, exactly. Recruiting. The, the Chadillac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good that one. Win. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You could be on the channel, like. <laughs> you You've been thinking that. about that since the panel, haven't you? I'm fascinated how everyone's putting their names in their trucks. Um, I, uh, we're such nice I had a name. I had a name. It's not even a character name. I had, I had a name for the Rossi that never made it uh, into the show, <laughs> and everyone laughed at. So I'd, I'd probably name it the Flying Alamo. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, I would totally fly on all these ships. Um, guys, thank you so much for coming in and chatting with us. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for having us. Stay tuned to Entertainment you. Weekly for more from Comic Con.